Hi everybody, today let me show you how to take your water heater and do a flush job on it and get all the sediment and crud out of it. Now this one here, you can see the installation date was in 1997 and it's 2016 now, so this is 19 years old. Let's see how much junk has accumulated over those 19 years. And you may be wondering what this is. This is my do-it-yourself water heater alarm. It's made from a smoke detector. And there's a couple of wires that go down there and when water hits the wires, it sets it off. And if you're interested in how to make one, the link will be at the end of this video. Okay, so before we get started, the first thing is, if you have children, make sure they're not around because we're dealing with very hot water. So the first thing you want to do is turn your thermostat down. But before you do, take a pencil and mark it. That way, when we're finished the job, you can put it right back to where it was. And go to the gas valve. It'll say on, pilot, and off. Just turn it to pilot. Now get your garden hose and connect it to the drain at the bottom of the water heater. So what I've done is I've taken the garden hose and I've put it into a nice clean white bucket so we can see how much sediment and junk is actually in that water heater. Now you want to turn off the cold water that enters the water heater. And now fully open the valve at the bottom of the tank. So let's talk about this for a second. So we've just opened up the valve in the bottom of the hot water tank and you heard that swoosh noise and that was the initial pressure letting go. And then the water basically almost comes to a trickle at that point. Just like the hole that I got drilled in the bottom of the bottle right here. Here's your hot water heater filled with water. There's a valve open at the bottom represented by the hole there. And now what you want to do is go to any hot water faucet in your house and open it. So you can allow air to go in here to allow the water to flow out of the hot water tank. Watch what happens here. So go to your laundry faucet and open up the hot water side. Laundry faucet is best to use because they don't usually have an aerator in them. So the hot water heater has been draining for about 30 minutes. And so all of the water has pretty well been emptied out of it. And that's how much debris we've gotten out of the hot water heater just from it basically dropping the level without really stirring it up. So let me show you one more additional step we can do to get more junk out of it. So again, using the pop bottle as an example, there's the water in the hot water heater down to that level now. And I've got some quinoa in there. And you can see how it represents the sediment that's sitting in the bottom. So let's get that stirred up by turning the valve back on for the hot water heater and blasting it down to the bottom and getting it all stirred up and getting more out of it. So come back in and turn your hot water faucet back off. And now you want to turn the water back on. And by doing that, we're going to blast water straight down to the bottom of the hot water heater and it's going to stir it all up. And at the same time, we're going to build up pressure in the tank, which will help to push the water out the hose and into our bucket. So this has been going now for about 30 seconds and look at the additional dirt we're getting out of the hot water heater just by doing that additional step. After about five minutes, turn the water off. At this point, you can look at the water coming into the bucket and see if the water is starting to come clear. If it hasn't, just repeat the step again by turning this back on for another five minutes and back off. When you're finished, turn the valve off and remove the hose. Turn your hot water back on and turn your water valve back on. And once all the air is pushed out of the system, turn the knob back to on and turn the temperature control back to the pencil mark. And you'll hear the burner kick back on. So this bucket has been sitting now for about 24 hours and you can see by the look in the bottom there how much sediment and rust we got out of the uh, water heater. Let's put a stick in there and I'll show you. Yeah, there's quite a bit of junk in there. Well, I hope this video has helped. If it did, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you next time.